Oh, you yell with me, Salil. Another day, another Friday, another Saturday, another Sunday. As the weekend approaches, some new films come out and you always wonder, is it time to spend money to go watch those films? 95% of films in 2016 have flopped, save a Nirja and save an airlift. But there are some of them that I feel in the next coming weeks will do really well. We'll talk about Tere Bin Laden 2 first up. So Tere Bin Laden part 1 was very interesting. Uh, Pradyuman, who plays Bin Laden, uh, was a sweet find. Ali Zafar was trying to make his debut in Bollywood. People liked it. It was a, well, political satire about terrorism. Okay. The problem with doing sequels is, A, you've got to live up to that expectation. B, the humor has to be just right. C, if you're repeating the characters or bringing new ones in, there has to be enough justification to bring those new characters in. So enter two new characters. Well, the principal ones at least. Sikandar Kher and Manish Paul. Now, this was not going to be about just unknown people. So Manish Paul, big enough, from Karan Johar to Malaika Roda Khan, to everyone wishing him success for his film. Yes, if you've seen the Before You interview, one of the most hilarious ones ever, we also know about his Mickey virus and Radamanka that nobody saw, as Sikandar Kher puts it. But the goodwill in the industry was there. My mother's 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 all friends. How is Manish Paul's film? Well, let's just put it this way. Manish Paul is not Kapil Sharma. Kapil Sharma made the transition wonderfully to acting. But Manish somehow is a caricature of himself. He's become that. So his hair is like stuck up. His eyes are big. And yes, he's a decent actor. But his expressions are just over the top, man. So it doesn't work. Now, Suganda, an old friend of mine as well, has a small role in this. Also, she's also coming to this. So you wonder why she's come there. Also, Rahul Singh. Asha, Suganda's name in the film is Suganda. Rahul Singh also comes in there. And again, you're asking yourself, why would he do a film like this? Who is Rahul Singh? He was in Gangs of Wasepur. He was in Khiladi Satsu Chiasi. He was in Son of Sardar. He's that villain guy, always. Very good actor, but doesn't need to do this. But then, the stage is set. When all the players have done the bowling, and the last bowler is coming to bowl, it's a little bit tiring out there. Then the batsman comes out there and smashes sixes. That's what Sikandar Khair does. Gets the American accent perfect. Gets the Punjabi accent perfect. Gets the walk perfect. And gets all the facial expressions perfectly. He plays aide to President Barack Obama. By the way, Barack Obama's also in this movie. He's a YouTube sensation who himself has shot with Barack Obama. So it's quite funny. So you've got Obama. You've got his aide, David. In this case, that is Sikandar Khair, who plays an American. And the American accent is brilliant. But they all want Osama Bin Laden dead. So you got Piyush Mishra also enters the fray as Khalil. Now who is Khalil? Doesn't matter. But he wants to have Osama killed. So you have David wanted to kill Osama, Obama wanted to kill Osama, and Khalil wanted to kill Osama. All three get together to try to kill Osama. And that's where the fun starts. So you got some nice helicopter sequences. The CGI is very good in this. And the timing is brilliant. But the jokes are a little stale. Even Ali Zafar has a cameo in the first half. But the first half is really bad. Somehow it tries really hard and you just want to sleep. In fact, I had three journalists sitting right next to me that were falling asleep and were snoring in the middle of the movie. It picks up in the second half. I sort of like, well, Manish Paul comes in with a little bit of a better zone. Sikandar's back in his own zone. But the problem is, I think in this film, Manish Paul, because he should have held the film together along with Sikandar and then moved it forward. Pratyuman's actually written a screenplay for this film and didn't really write enough in it for himself. So on the whole, I'm going to give, well, two and a half stars because I like the second half a lot. But otherwise, could have done so much more. But the burden of expectation, too much on Ter Bin Laden, dead or alive. The second film I'm reviewing today, Ali Gar. Very sensitive film. Actually, it's been in controversy for the last one month. Made by the very acclaimed director Hansal Mehta, who made City Lights as well as Shahid. Now, Hansal Mehta and Apurva Israni, who have actually written this, have always had a very fantastic and sensitive combination. Now, when I see it sensitive, not just to issues, but also to the actors. And this is one such film about Professor Siras. But it's a real life story about Aligarh Muslim University, or AMU as it's called, where they say it's a historical place for a number of revolutionary ideas and number of 
historians, poets and scholars have come from there and done great things for this world. Well, Professor Sirius is one such person. But the man playing this, what a circle he's had in his life. In 1998, he played Bhikkhu Matre in Satya, won the audiences over with his fantastic Marathi goal. And now, 18 years later, he's playing a Marathi professor, but who is gay. Actually, he doesn't like to be called gay in this movie, who's comfortable with his sexuality. In the first five minutes, an establishment is done as to how the entire other professors find out this video about Manoj Bajpai, and then they hold it against him, he has to resign, and then he fights the system. When he's fighting the system, he meets his reporter, Raj Kumar Rao. Now, that is a sensitivity that is there in this movie. But when you see him, the man himself, Manoj Bajpai, you see a gangs of Vasi, you see a Satya, when you see a film like this, you understand that this man and his craft is what it's all about as far as acting is concerned. Will an Aligarh be able to bring the box office in? Possibly not. Did I find a little bit slow at times? Yes, but the point is, it's a sensitive film. It deals with a real subject and really might just be a game changer as far as section 377 is concerned. I'm gonna give it three and a half stars. Watch it, enjoy it, admire it. You might not think it's a riveting box office film, but the sensitivity that he's actually shown, Manoj Bajpayee in his performance, is worthy of this watch. As far as box office collections are concerned, Neerja, lighting up the box office on fire. I gave it four stars. It was worthy possibly of a little bit more. More than 35 crores in the first week. It's now become tax-free in Gujarat. It's become tax-free in Maharashtra. Will have a huge run. The number of screens has increased from 700 to 900 and 4,000 shows across India. So it might actually have a 30 to 35 crore second week as well. It might have the unthinkable happen with Neerja and hit 75 crores. But kudos to Sonam Kapoor and Ram Madhwani and Jim Sarab. That fantastic terrorist, he's brilliant in this movie, now doing a role in Kankana's film as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where this film ends up with. Coming up next week, Prakash Jha makes his acting debut with the superstar of the world, Priyanka Chopra. Remains to be seen how Jai Ganga Jal. A sequel to Ganga Jal? No, but similar vein. We'll have to wait and see if this film does well. But remember, you can always log into your reviews to me. Salil Acharya, a number of you have been tagging their own reviews. I like them, I read them all. And that's the Twitter handle, S-A-L-I-L-A-C-H-E-R-Y-A, or the official B for you. Till the next time, bye-bye, and take care. Bedrums, bedrums, bedrums.